December 31st, and it's time for this week's Friday Funny Special Thursday New Year's Eve edition. Today is the last day of the year, which means it's a time to reflect on the past, plan for the future, and ask ourselves, what the heck happened? I mean, 2009 was a year of turmoil and financial disasters and economic chaos, but as a wise sage once said, other than that, Mrs. Lincoln, how'd you like to play? I don't know about you, but I'm happy to see this abysmal year pass away, to make room for a brand new decade, something I'm going to call the Roaring Teens. So for the last time in this decade, and yes, I am aware of the fact that officially the next decade doesn't begin until 2011, but I'm just going along with public consensus here, even though I'm aware that that's how Obama got elected in the first place. For the last time this decade, here's the Friday Buddies. New Year's Eve edition. It's no secret that the consumption of alcohol increases during the holiday season. And believe it or not, this can lead to some pretty bad circumstances. I have three instances for you. Number one, in Sturgis, South Dakota, Marguerite Engel set a new state record, a brand new state record, when she was found passed out behind the wheel of a stolen delivery truck with a blood alcohol level of .708. 708. This is nine times the legal limit. So she she won a beautiful all-expenses-paid stay at the county jail. And in addition, she was also given the Brass Liver Award, six months to live, and a date with Charlie Sheen. Instance number two. In Rome, Georgia, which I have on good authority, was also not built in a day. In Rome, the McGuire, Jennings, and Miller Funeral Home is doing their part to help out drunk drivers. If you stop by their location ahead of time and sign a contract saying that you plan to drink or take drugs before you drive on New Year's Eve and then die in a fiery crash, they will bury you for free. That's right. The grave, the casket, the limousine, even the preparation of the body, all on them. The only stipulation is that they will not cremate a drunk driver because it just takes too long for the flames to go up. And finally, instance number three. In Harrisburg, Oregon, a man was sitting at McKenzie's Bar and Grill for several hours. He left about 10 p.m. and returned a short time later intent on robbing the place. He didn't think anybody would remember him. But they did, and he was soon arrested. And as they were carting him off, he was screaming, Hey, don't you people know who I am? I'm Charlie Sheen. And finally, this year, you know, Groucho Marx once said, I shot an elephant in my pajamas. How he got in my pajamas, I'll never find out. And that was a very funny quote, but down in Clarksville, Georgia, Joel Borden this week actually killed a deer in his underwear. Mr. Borden lives in the country, and he got up one morning to fix himself some coffee, looked out in the backyard, saw a wounded deer. It had been shot by a hunter and had run away, and it was not going to make it. So he did the humane thing, which was to put the deer out of its misery. And so he killed the deer by beating it with a stick while clad only in his underwear and a pair of sandals. <whistles> now, I'm sorry, but if you're a wounded deer, and the last thing that you see in this life is a, uh, is a redneck coming at you in his underpants, beating you with a stick. How humane can that be? In his defense, Mr. Borden was wearing camouflage boxer shorts at the time, so really, the deer never saw what hit him. Hey, that's all I have for you for 2009. Thanks so much for watching the Friday Funnies every week. We hope you continue to watch in 2010. Have a safe New Year's Eve. Have a wonderful New Year. And as I always, always like to say on New Year's Eve, see you next year. <laughs>